In this video, we are going to be looking at PowerShell and comparing files with compare object, the function compare object. This is built into PowerShell, so you don't need to add anything uh, to this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create file one, and you can create this wherever you want, and it can be totally different. Uh, for simplicity purposes, what I've done is I've created line uh, one through seven, and then we're going to create a file two and we see that there is some overlap. So in file two, we have line five through 10. So if we look at this, we see that file two does not have lines one through four, but we do see that line, or I'm sorry, file two has lines uh, five, six, and seven, but file one does not have lines eight, uh, nine, and 10. And the reason for this is because we want one of the files to have uh, more values. We want the other file to have uh, other values that the other file doesn't have. And then we wanna have some values uh, where things are equal, especially when testing functionality, that's always useful because you may need one or the other, especially when we use this. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're just going to compare object. Uh, we're going to execute this function, and this is what you would get if you had these two variables, file one and file two. So we see, um, first of all, notice the indicator pointing uh, to the right and to the left. So in this case where it's pointing to the right is file two, we see that file two has uh, line eight, eight, nine, and 10. And of course, if we go back, we can see that in file two, we had eight, nine, and 10. So the side indicator is correct. And then we see on file one, it's pointing that line one, line two, line three, and line four are in file one. They're not in file two. And if we go back to here, we do see that one through four. So essentially when we're running compare object, what it's actually doing is it's just returning the lines that are different um, or the data as you used to say or that we could say in the files that are different right so if there's data that's identical it's not going to return that now let's suppose that we wanted to return that and we're using the base functionality here so now keep in mind if you want anything more detailed like for instance we would then select object and we would say select object where side indicator equals so on and so forth but it, here we're just doing a straightforward compare and, and looking how we can get uh, the various values whether we're looking for let's say the right value the left value or maybe Maybe the equal value. So what we can do here is we can run compare object. We're looking at file one, file two, and this time we're passing in this parameter include equal, right? So now it's actually showing us this indicator that where we see it is equal. And if we recall correctly, if we go back to our files, both of the files have five, six, and seven. We see that with a file two, five, six, and seven. And so we would expect in this case, we're gonna see all the lines of course, but we're gonna see the five, six, and seven, which are equal, right? So we see where they're equal. We see where they belong to the right file and we see where they belong to the left file. And that would allow us to filter how we need. And so that in a nutshell is how the compare object functionality works, just the base functionality. If you wanna do more detailed stuff with it, we would wanna break it down further. But for just comparing objects to see what has uh, data versus the other or where something is equal, this allows us to use that base functionality. 